John Deere, the global market leader in sugarcane harvesting innovation, has introduced an improved chopper system that features external blade timing. This system not only dramatically shortens timing events, but can also help improve harvesting performance and crop quality. Consistent blade engagement from a properly timed chopper positively impacts cleaning, billet size consistency, and billet quality. A faster and simpler timing procedure makes managing chopper performance easier than ever. External timing means you no longer have to remove the chopper gearbox cover. This not only dramatically reduces downtime for chopper timing events, but makes the entire timing process easier and eliminates the risk of gearbox contamination from dust and debris. An onboard timing tool and position indicator are included for more precise adjustments. As always, make sure the harvester is parked on a level surface with all functions completely stopped before servicing the chopper assembly. Shut off the engine and remove the key before proceeding. Proper personal protective equipment should always be worn while servicing the chopper area. If necessary, you may need to clean the chopper drums, gear case, and surrounding area. Check the chopper blades. If damaged or dull, consider installing new blades before timing. Gather the tools needed to complete the timing procedure. Start with a 13mm wrench and a 10mm wrench. You'll also need an impact wrench and a torque wrench with extension capable of 400 newton meters. Lastly, grab a 1 and 1 8 inch socket. You're now ready to begin. Open the chopper service door located in the back right hand side of the machine. After opening the strap, use the 13 millimeter wrench to turn the latch and open the door. Use the locking pin to hold the door open while you work. Do a visual inspection of the chopper drums and blade position by rotating the flywheel as you watch the upper and lower chopper drum blades interact. If timing is needed, proceed to the external timer located on the right of the flywheel. Use your impact wrench and 1 and 1 8 inch socket to slightly loosen the nine chopper bolts encircling the outer edge of the external timer. Remove the timing tool and install it on the external timer. You may need to slightly adjust the tool's bolt position for proper fit up. Lock it in place with the pin provided. Use a 10 millimeter wrench to adjust the chopper to the correct timing position. Checking blade engagement by turning the flywheel until the preferred timing is achieved. The position indicator on the timer will show the amount of adjustment. When the desired timing is set, use the impact wrench to tighten two of the nine chopper bolts to temporarily hold the drums in place while you remove the timing tool. The timing tool can then be stored in its dedicated location between the external timer and flywheel. Use the impact wrench to tighten the remaining bolts, moving in a star pattern until all bolts are properly tightened. Before finishing, double check timing. Visually inspect the chopper drums and blade engagement by rotating the flywheel. If all looks good, you're ready to torque. The final step in the timing process is making sure all external timer bolts are properly torqued to within plus or minus 20% of 400 newton meters. Use the torque wrench in one and one eighth inch socket to complete the process.
Remove the service door locking pin and close the door. Return the latch strap to the locked position. Now you're ready to get back to work.